The anatomy of high converting sales pages, conversion rate optimization tips. Hey, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. There's a big button down there. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to do that. Next to it, there is a bell. You gotta ring the bell, ring that bell and turn on all notifications so that you're part of the Fisher family, the VIP group that gets notified every time I do a video. Now let's talk about those conversions on those pages. You know what? At this point, I can actually look at a sales page and tell if it's going to convert or not. Why is that? Because I've done a lot of them, but here's the truth. There's actually a formula to having high converting sales pages. Now you're going to want to watch this video to the very end. If you're trying to do a sales page, because I'm going to share with you that process, that template that you can use to get more conversions on your sales pages. And we're starting right now. Hey, I'm JR and if you're new to my channel welcome thanks for being here don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on those notifications like I said now I've been selling online since 2009 and I've sold millions of dollars of both digital and physical products and in that period of time I've picked up a few things so on this channel what I do is I share with you those tips tricks and techniques that you can use to grow your online business now if you have been trying to work on your sales pages and you've having a hard time put some Something in the comments below tell me what you've done what you what you want to do what you think you should do if you have questions about those sales pages put that in the comments below I'll be happy to help you out don't forget to like this video and let's jump in here now and so I can reveal the exact process that you can use to have high converting sales pages oh before I forget I have a free course it's a $97 e-commerce course but you can get it absolutely free by going in the description below and clicking and learning that's it no credit card required look let's face it when you've got a formula and it works and you apply it to other sales pages it's probably gonna work for them too you know years ago I was a pilot and I used to fly and we had this checklist thing we had to go through and it wasn't like you read the checklist one time and you never read it again you know even though you had it memorized you had to go down this checklist before you took off because the result of not reading that checklist was not good okay so you had to read that checklist and make sure everything was checked off on there it's the same thing with a sales page there's just a simple checklist and if you go down that checklist and you do the things on the checklist you're gonna get good results okay so let's get started the first thing you want to do is clearly state your proposition in the header okay really important to do this because here's the truth when people land on your page about eight out of ten people will read the headline but only about two out of ten will actually read the body of that particular sales page so if you don't have your proposition stated clearly in that headline you're not gonna sell anything that headline should be very bold and it should be roughly six to nine words something like lose seven pounds in ten days and eat what you want those types of headlines work really well number two is visual focus now people will read things but they really operate more uh, on visual so if you have a picture on your sales page if you have a video on your sales page it's going to do a whole lot better than if you don't so you know we've tested this and when you don't have any picture there you just have words there are those people when they come to those sales pages if there's no video and there's no picture they will automatically just click off so just having that one thing there is going to help now of course the quality of the resolution the quality of that video are going to come into play too so if you don't have a good quality one yeah you know that's going to hurt you a little bit so make sure it's a good quality one spend a little time on it you know make sure your lighting is right make sure your sound is right before you put that video or that picture on the sales page number three features and benefits outline these are super super important now we sell survival food and one of our products is canned meat and that particular canned meat has a lot of features and it has a lot of benefits those two things are different okay so when we say it's slow pressure cooked um, and, and it is that is a feature of that product it being slow pressure cooked but the benefit is it's going to make it tender and moist and delicious because it is slow pressure cooked 
another one is that we have hand select cuts of meat now that's that's a feature hand select cuts of meat but the benefit is there's no fat no gristle and you get only choice pieces of meat in that particular can so that would be the benefit of it and what you want to do is have bullet points of each one of these features and benefits so they can see what the feature is and what benefit they're going to receive and, and I would suggest to talk to your customers ask them what's important to them what is it they want to receive out of your product are they trying to save time money hassle what is it they're trying to do and then once you know what that is you can actually put that in your ad copy so maybe you're selling an exercise uh, piece of equipment and you can say well it's going to save you hours of traveling to and from a gym you can do it in your home in less time and get in shape and not waste all your time heading over to the gym number four have a single focus call to action so click here to get this or click here to download or whatever it is you need to have that clearly stated and it needs to be above the fold okay so many times I see pages and they have all this great information but there's no place to click and it's because it's below the fold people have to scroll to get to that button they have it down at the bottom somewhere they have it hidden and the problem with that is when most people visit sales pages web pages whatever it is they never scroll okay 85% of the people will never scroll on your page so if you've got a really good product and you've got a really good offer and you put that call to action that button below the fold 85% of the people will never have a chance to buy your product to opt in to get your download whatever it is you're trying to do so when you build these sales pages make sure that they can actually land on the page not have to scroll and take the next step another thing is you know wipe out some of the steps you know I've seen sales pages where it'll have all the information and they'll have a button and it'll say get more information here they don't want more information at this point okay they're at a sales page they're at a download page they want to go ahead and take the next step and get it so don't tease them and make them go through another step to get more information and then go through another step to actually buy or opt-in that's going to cost you sales number five is include testimonials testimonials are awesome you know it doesn't matter how you talk about your company when a stranger or a celebrity or somebody says something good about your company it means a whole lot more than you saying something about your company now I would also suggest you don't overdo this um, it's been proven that if you have more than three testimonials um, it actually lowers your conversion rate if you have 15 testimonials at the bottom it's just it's just overload it's too much so don't do that only only put on there maybe two or three and that's going to serve the purpose of your social testimonials number six give a guarantee everybody who buys online everybody who buys in a store is always a little bit worried about that product you know is this product going to meet my needs is it going to solve my problems am i really going to lose weight am i really going to get in shape you know is it really going to taste good whatever it is that you're selling in the back of their mind they have that little worry and the only way to get rid of that worry is to have a money-back guarantee you know if they don't like the product it doesn't taste good it doesn't work out for them whatever go ahead and give their money back now you may say well gosh i don't want to give a whole lot of people's money back well number one if you have a good product you don't have to worry about that okay uh, and number two um, if if they want their money back you should just do it you don't want any unhappy customers out there if you have unhappy customers out there with social media nowadays that doesn't do you a lot of good number seven integrate a story stories really really important uh, and I've told you several stories already in this video I've talked about my food company and what we do and that makes everything a little bit more interesting people love stories if you notice most sales pages that are really good tell a story maybe even a long story so if you can integrate something about one of your customers if you can integrate something about the struggle that you went through if you can integrate anything that has to do with your product into a story form you're gonna see your conversions go up so this is a guideline for you if you go through each one of these steps and you apply them to your sales page you will get more conversions because these are the things that have been proven to work please incorporate these in your sales pages and when you do it put it in the comments below tell me about the results you got tell me about what you did and what you got as far as sales what your conversions were and if you have questions about doing this you can also put that in the comments below too now don't forget what 
got a free e-commerce course it's a $97 course but you can grab it absolutely free free is cheap man free is really cheap okay don't get any cheaper than free and all you have to do is click the link and learn below and grab my free course don't forget if you haven't already done so to subscribe to my channel you got to subscribe right I need that and give me a thumbs up right give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down either one okay whatever you think of this video and last lastly even if you subscribe you won't know I did a video unless you turn on the bell notifications it's right next to the subscribe button down there and when you click it you need to turn on all notifications if you turn on all notifications you become part of the VIP club the Fisher family and you will be notified every single time I do a new video I really appreciate you watching this video and if you have an idea for a video put that in the comments below maybe I'll do a video on your idea thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next video Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.